how much does age sort of, I guess, a- affect your, your, your sense of creativity? I mean, for example, the fact that Assault on Precinct 13 was based on Rio Bravo to a certain extent, do you find yourself sort of, as you're thinking of new projects, now you feel like you almost would maybe um, relate better to John Wayne's character than Ricky Nelson's or something like that? You know, I mean, is there, you know, is there... I see what you mean. Yeah, I mean... Not really. Uh, I've always wanted to be Ricky Nelson. <laughs> Especially when he's singing with Dean Martin. Singing My Rifle, My Pony, and Me. Uh, no, I, there's a, I still have a strong uh, uh, attraction for certain kinds of heroes or heroines uh, that, that are, let's say they're not, they're not a lot of action movies that I see, I, I have no feeling for because the, the, the main characters, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, what do you, I don't get it. I don't care about you. Not, not, there's nothing wrong with them. Some of them are very good. But I don't care. I don't give a shit. So my, my kind of character is, a, is a different. Snake Plissken's my kind of guy. I feel a lot of kinship towards him. I mean, he was lo- roughly based on an earlier character, Napoleon Wilson in Assault on Precinct 13. Slightly derivative, but similar. Hmm. Well, how, how do you feel like... Um, what, what, what do you feel like is key for you to sort of feeling like you are still, and not just creatively fulfilled, but sort of relevant. I mean, the properties that you created are, are so iconic at this point that they, that you are always going to be attached to them, but they continue to live on in different permutations. Uh, do you think at all about like, well, I, I don't want to not sort of diminish my own legacy, but you know, make sure that I'm not, that, that I'm continuing to do work that both fulfills me and that sort of, I guess, lives up to what you even you personally just consider your work, your earlier work to be. Uh, well, let me answer the question about some people remake some of my films, and uh, I have I used to have mixed feelings about that. But then a really magical thing happened. Uh, the first film that someone remade of mine, I was sitting at home, and a check arrives. And I just accept the check and sign it. And I realized, damn, this is a way to make money doing nothing. They ask nothing of me. I don't have to write. I have to think. I have to create. And it, plus, it's flattering. What's wrong with this? This picture, this is nothing wrong with this. Whatever movie they remake or they refashion in some way, it's someone else's vision. It's not mine. And it's never going to be mine. And I wouldn't want to influence that other person's vision. I don't want to tell a director what to do. That's not what I'm interested in. So I'm happy enough with my own films. And if they want to remake them, fine. And I'm delighted when I get paid to do nothing. And listen, I, I've matured, man. I'm, I'm 63 years old. So a lot of things I just don't care about. It's OK. A lot of things you don't worry about. I don't. I don't worry whether the ward is. If people expect oh, the classic, I, I don't care. No, I don't care about that. That's <laughs> not why I make movies. Well, um, you like it or you don't. You don't like it. I'm sorry. You like it. Good. How do you feel like going forward? Just the idea of thinking about getting older and mortality can possibly impact. The idea, the, the the sort of different tone of working on a horror movie, which when you're, you know, when you're younger and it's a slasher movie, it's about, you know, sort of just exploitation and fun, or you know, fun being scared, whereas it can be perhaps a more meaningful exploration of that. Well, it's not as much fun now to do popcorn movies. You know, I don't care about that necessarily, uh, but I never really made a. A purely well, I have. I think Trouble in China was a pure popcorn film, twisted and odd. Uh, but yeah, I, I really, really odd. But I don't really. I can't. I, I would love to see myself as a a director that people would go to to hire for uh, an assignment. Like I'll do this action film, and I, that's that. And a part of me loves that, but that, that's not who I am. Yeah, I just make movies that I make, and 
I think that I think it's good to have older directors. I think you get to see something different. Man, it's harder. It's a young man's game, my friend. It's a young man's game. Well, you you have such a, a celebrated filmography. Um, I mean, I know you were at uh, Weekend of Horrors just a couple weeks ago, and folks, are, I'm sure, still want to ask you about Halloween and these and these early films that I I know you have talked about. Uh, you know, probably exhaustively. Are there are there any films in your filmography that you feel have been sort of overlooked, or that you oh, actually would lots, be lots, lots, yeah? lots of films. Prince of Darkness and the Mouth of Madness, Vampires. I mean, I think there's a lot of my stuff that I've done that people just haven't taken a look, nothing to look at. Hey, I love these conventions. I got to meet the lovely Aja Argento. Come on, man, life is good. <laughs> well, how does that? Um, how does that sustain you at all? I mean, not 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 financially, but just sort of creatively. Just the idea of, of going to a, a convention, you see these people who come out just to see you, to take a picture with you, to to really celebrate. Wonderful, you. Jeez, it's wonderful. The fans are uh, unbelievably nice. Most of them have tattoos, <laughs> and uh, sometimes they dress like their favorite character, but they're they're wonderful. They're loyal. They're nice. They're nice. It's a nice reward. How eager are you, or, or how actively are you moving on to something else after this? I'm developing a couple of things. By that I mean they're being written, or a producer is setting them up, or trying to raise money for them. And if it comes along, it does. And like I can say, then it's a different time of life. I'm not so obsessed with the next project. If it comes, fine. If the rapture happens, that's fine too. <laughs>